Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So unless you've been living under a rock, you have probably heard of the 28th Amendment. The 28th Amendment is a proposed amendment by the governor of the state of California, Newsom, and this amendment would essentially add gun control into our constitution, essentially circumventing the Second Amendment. Now, if you remember, this was really big news in the very beginning. Everybody was talking about it. This was a big deal. Uh, the governor was trying to push for a constitutional convention to try and get this added, but then it went quiet for a while. We didn't really hear much about it. We know that he pushed for it for you know a few months, and then it sort of kind of lingered off, right? Well, it looks like this whole thing is back again, and he's once again pushing for the 28th Amendment. Or is he? There's some other stuff here that's going on I want you guys to see. Hey, real quick before we get started, do you know what this is? Or maybe even know what this is? If you do, then you're a little bit ahead of the game. If you don't, then check out today's sponsor, which is the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you've ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry, SDI is for you. Take that hobby, that passion that you have, and turn it into a money-making career. The online programs at SDI offer armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishes, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, the tools and materials that you need are shipped directly to your door for that hands-on practice. Now, in this day and age, you just can't wait for your future to come to you. You have to seize your future now. So request more information from SDI. The link will be down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. And before we get too deep into this, let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that the 28th Amendment would do. And this comes directly from an ex post from the governor today. So this is from his page directly. And it says here, this is why I'm proposing the right to safety amendment. So it's called the right to safety amendment, a new amendment to the United States Constitution, which will mandate background checks ban civilian purchase of so-called quote-unquote assault weapons and raise the federal minimum age to buy a firearm for 18 to 21. So uh, basically anything that you would want to buy now, you'd have to be 21 uh, if the 20th Amendment were to be added. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking there's no way something like this is going to get added to the Constitution. It's just not going to happen. Not to mention, if you open up a convention to have something like this added, other states can then use that same convention to try and add their own things as well. So it really opens up Pandora's box when you do something like this. So what is the real intended reason here? If he knows that this doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of actually going through, if he is aware that in a constitutional convention, uh, there would be other things that could simply override this that would be added and other things that we know that they don't want to see be added, what is the actual purpose? Well, that whole thing is a link, okay? So when you go onto that X page, you go onto his X page and you see this post, it's a link. And when you click on that link, it takes you to a page that funds for the Democrat party. And you can see that it wants you to put all of your personal information in there. Well, as you can see, we can read here. It says, add your name to say you support passing the right to safety amendment that will make our community safer. It's a small and simple action but it will send a powerful message about the size and strength of the coalition to get this done. The time is now. Now, when you scroll down from that, you'll see they want the standard information, right? Your name, contact info, and stuff like that. But as you scroll down more, you can see that there's actually a questionnaire. And that last question is the one that really kind of opened my eyes to everything. It says, will you make a donation to Gavin Newsom's campaign for Democracy PAC? It's a fundraiser. That's basically what it is. It's just a fundraiser. They're playing on their base in order to get donations. And, you know, basically this is, I mean, this is a very powerful topic on both sides, right? We have very uh, built-in solid beliefs and there's a lot of people that are passionate about it on both sides. One side is obviously wrong, but they're still passionate about it. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to take that passion and turn it into green. That's what this is all about. So if you know that you have something that doesn't have a snowball's chance again, right? You know you have something like that, but it really drives up people's emotions. You can use it to turn that emotion into green. And that's what they're doing here. Because again, it's just not going to happen. We, we know that it's not going to happen. Is there a potential for it to happen in the future if things change a little bit more? Possibly. We can never really rule that out. But as it stands right now, over half of the country is constitutional carry as it stands right now. So we know 
that in order to get something like this done, you would need two thirds of the state legislatures. Uh, they don't even have half at this point. It's less than half, as a matter of fact. So the, uh, the opportunity to get something like this actually in there is already non-existent. So there's got to be something else. And this really opened my eye to what exactly this whole thing is about. And I just wanted to share that with you today. It's something to keep on the radar. It's something to write down in a book, keep it in your back pocket so that you know that it's there. Just watch to see what changes happen so that, you know, we know what's going on here. That's the main thing. The more educated you are about this stuff, the more informed you are about this stuff, the better off we'll be if the, you know, if everything changes, right? The, the political atmosphere of this country changes and something like this actually does have a chance. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know about that little insight that I just, you know, a little nugget that I thought you guys might be interested in. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.